is. Look who has made her way through back order purgatory and has finally arrived home where she belongs. I am ecstatic to finally have this girl here. Claudine and Draculaura are ecstatic to have her. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get her open. Come on. <laughs> oh man, I am so excited to see this box. Y'all got no clue. And also I'm trying something new with the lighting. It might look weird. You might not even notice. Ooh. Let's get a little close up for the back of the box here. Oh, how fun. Look at all of that. And the front oh my god the front's gorgeous look at that so on the front panel we've got two little throw switches we've got a heart with stitches all around it we've got a lightning bolt and her skelet okay the time has come okay now we gotta do the dance Open the box, dance. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Up, it's up, it's up, it's up. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> Again, with putting the friggin' certificate right on her face. It's just so anticlimactic. Okay, three, two, one. <gasps> sweet baby girl oh wow look at her hair oh my god y'all her eyes are just glowing they're absolutely stunning look at her face look at her beautiful face look at the blushing Yo, it's, it's subtle, but it's there. Oh my gosh. And the lashes are just, Mwah! and the clips, the little clips. Okay, as with the others, we start with the literature. Wait, is it day 400 or day 4,070? Either way, it's been a stitch or two since I last saw you. Lots of shocking stuff going on behind the screens. Don't you just love the way this look is put together? Check out this totally voltageous top with metallic skelettes and hardware vest for an edgy finish. The rest of the outfit is scare adorable with a terrifying zipper trim skirt plus high wattage heels with light switches. I can't believe Cleo actually found the time to design this after her break. Oops! Like I said, lots going on behind the screens. I've been falling apart without you, so let's bang out more often. Lightning bolt, Frankie Stein. <laughs> and the certificate of authenticity on the back, once again, designed by Rebecca Shipman. Fabulous work, fabulous work, my lady. Back in the sleeve where it belongs. And on the front pocket is her diary. And the front of it says, if you find this along with my arm, can you return both, please? Thanks. <laughs> so we've got the bio in the front and then the entries, which I will not be reading at this time. Oh, and there's actually a little schedule thing in the back. That's cute. All right. Time's come to release her. Oh my God, she's so friggin' cute. And lift the back out of the thing. Y'all, it's her. It's finally her. She has returned from war. First order of business. Let's get these 
I'll dealt with, um, oh, wait a minute, hang on. Okay, this is interesting. So with the other two, um, there was string holding their hair in place, but it, um, it spat out the back right here and it was kind of tied at a couple of different places. But with Frankie, it's like there's this back um, additional piece of plastic, if you can see right there. There's this uh, extra sheet of plastic that's stuck to the back of the box and the string keeping her hair in place is tied through that. Oh yeah, I think these these big tabs here might be what that is. Once again, terrified to ruin the box. Yeah, that, that is the piece. Okay, so let's... Oh, jeez. I gotta say, I think I liked the other method better. So now I've ripped the box. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, don't rip, don't rip, don't rip, come on, come on, come on. There you go. There we go. Okay, she's gonna fall forward. Yep, wow, okay. So all of the, wow. I mean, my only question is why? <laughs> this seems excessive and unnecessary. Okay, well, first of all, let's get this thing off her leg. Ooh, 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 y'all, 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 it's happening. Y'all, I'm just saying, the last few months of my life have kind of led to this moment. So let me have this. <laughs> oh, that is way more fun than it has any right to be. Oh my God. That's awesome. That's amazing. It's perfect. Let's get the other one. Psh. Psh. It's alive! Oh, excuse me. I know that's that's point of contention for you. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Rebecca, absolutely brilliant. Well done. And of course, we'll go over the whole outfit in a minute here, but stunning. Absolutely stunning. Okay, where were we? Getting this hair free. Again, my my main question is just why? Wow, they really went to town on this. And there's tape as well. Fabulous. And these stupid things. It's free, thank the Lord. Oh my word. I am in love with this hair so much. <laughs> Needs a bit of a brush because it got squished in the packaging. Okay, what else do we need to take care of? This thing. Woo! Oh my god. She's got a little bracelet and it's so cute. Yes, this is one of the charms that you can just rip out if you're not careful. I have seen a couple posts about people saying that the earrings will stain the dolls because of the paint that they put on them. So um, it's better to keep these little plastic discs on rather than take them off. It's already too late for my Draculaura, but uh, for Frankie, I'll just go ahead and, and keep those in. I'm gonna give her hair a little brushy brushy. Oh. Oh. Oh! And as with the other two, it is ridiculously soft. Yeah, I'm just gonna be doing this for like the next 10 minutes. Don't, don't mind me. But before we can do anything else, we gotta get this stupid stand out of here. Okay, and once again, with her belt being where the waist clip needs to be. Ooh, ooh, I gotta say, on the stand, it's a bit of a different vibe, <laughs> but I'm not mad. 
Not mad at all. Okay, we're over here now because the uh, memory filled up, but I still want to get a close-up rundown for y'all, and Claudine and Lala are here to help. Got her beautiful, beautiful face, and her hair is pulled up in that, oh, what, what would you call that? Not, not a bump it necessarily, but like, you know, like a, a mini ponytail type thing. Um, as similar with her signature doll, um, but her hair is super, super long. It actually goes down. It's actually below her knees. It's, it's kind of actually about like mid calf. Um, that's how long her hair goes. And once again, it is super soft and silky and luxurious. And I just want to keep doing this all day and night. And up at the top where her hair cinches, there is a black band that has little spikes on it. And on the side here, we've got, we've got two hair clips. One says high voltage and the other one is a lightning bolt. And on the sides, we've got her earrings in the shiny blue, and they've got skullet pendants and lightning bolts where they attach on her ears. She's got those on both sides. And she does have the shiny metallic neck bolts that some Frankies do have. And then we've got the, well, first of all, we've got what looks like a blue tank top underneath the mesh um, and it the fabric kind of has a bit of um, tinselly material woven into it and the tank top has a little collar that pokes out here and on top we've got this black mesh top that's got stitch patterns all over it and um, some foil designs. So on this side, we've got Frankie's skullet, and on this sleeve, there are a couple of lightning bolts. There's actually three. Yeah, there's one over there. And they, uh, the cuffs on these also have that uh, blue fabric with the tinsel in it. And then we've got this silver harness that crisscrosses over the chest. And it goes all the way around to the back. And there is a snap closure to keep it in place. And her belt is a three-tiered black belt. And it's got a lightning bolt and some studs on it. And it also fastens in the back. And then on this hand, we've got her backpack. And it's got more of that faux leather type material on the bottom, very similar to what um, Draculaura's bag feels like. And the top part um, just feels like standard fabric. And there's also a uh, Velcro closure at the top. And then on this hand, she's got a black bracelet with studs and a blue skelet charm that, once again, is removable like the charms on um, Draculaura's belt. And then the skirt um, has several different tiers to it. Um, there's two that have this blue um, plaid material, and there's some zippers up here. I don't know if they're supposed to look like fake pockets or something, but there's some zipper details up here. And this layer has some black faux leather. And then underneath there is a layer of black tulle. And you can see right there. And then at the bottom, of course, once again, we have the Beautiful, stunning, amazing, show-stopping, never done before heels with the switches. 
that you can move. And the rest of the shoes are made up of these straps with little studs all over them in various shapes and sizes. Kind of like what you would what you would tie a body to a slab with if you were trying to reanimate somebody, perhaps. Yeah, and that's that's Frankie. Let me see. Favorite thing about this doll. Um, I mean, besides the shoes, honestly, there there is something about this hair that is really doing it for me. Like this obnoxiously long hair. It's it's just doing something for me. Like you wouldn't necessarily look at this doll immediately and say, oh, her hair is the star of the show kind of thing, you know? But because it is so ridiculously long, it definitely adds to just everything else going on. It, it just elevates it and makes it seem more, I don't know, visually interesting. And it just, it works, it works. And also the harness, I think, is really, really cool. It adds to the like manufactured element of her character. Not not manufactured necessarily, but like, you know, you you know what I'm trying to say. Like she's she's been assembled. She wasn't born necessarily. Um I I mean that in the nicest way possible, Frankie. You know I love you. Um and it and it just looks cool. Like it it gives her this edge. Like Frankie is so known for being just the the goody two shoes, super sweet to everybody um character and this just gives her that that little bit of edge that's like don't mess with me but it's also weirdly appropriate because it's her you know <laughs> and also the skirt is a cute callback to her signature outfit but it's definitely doing its own thing oh my god look at all of them together oh i'm so happy <laughs> I'm so happy that they're all together. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad that she finally came home. But yeah, thank you once again so much for watching and hanging out with us and geeking out with us over these dolls. And we're super excited to see the next installments of um, this line later in the year and whatever else Monster High has cooked up for us this year because they've clearly got things in the works. Yeah, let, let us know down in the comments what you, um, if you're into Monster High, what you're most excited for about what they've been announcing and teasing. Um, for this year. I'm very curious. Um, but thank you so much for watching. We've got more videos in the works. We've got quite a few customs that are um, in progress right now that we are filming and we can't wait to share with you all. Um, definitely follow us on Instagram if you would like um, little sneak peeks before those videos go up. And honestly, I think that is it. And thank you so much, and we will see you next time.